Toronto co-ops are like the matinee. You get to enjoy the blockbuster movie experience, but at half the price. Today, I'm talking about my top five Toronto co-ops. Make sure to stick around as my number one pick has balconies as huge as terraces and is one of the most desirable co-ops in Toronto. Number five, Arbor Glen Apartments. Situated at 120 Rosedale Valley Road, it's a mid-century building on the Rosedale Ravine in the heart of Rosedale. It features large open balconies facing the ravine, a six minute walk to the subway, and an outdoor pool. Number four, 158 Crescent Road is a Rosedale classic. Here you can find a three bedroom facing a wooded ravine where you'll easily forget you're in the heart of the city. If you're willing to renovate, you can score a great deal, but no dogs or cats are allowed. Number three, 41 Lakeshore Road. Here, residents enjoy million dollar breathtaking views of the lake from their balcony at a fraction of the cost of a condo in the Tobico waterfront. This is a well-managed boutique building with only 42 suites, but no dogs are permitted. Cats are okay though. Number two, Kensington Apartments. 21 Dale is a complex located in the heart of Rosedale, sitting on five acres of lush forest, just steps to the Castle Frank station and offers both an indoor and outdoor saltwater pool. The original units may need updates, Dogs are allowed without weight restriction and balconies are open to barbecues. Nickname God's Waiting Room, it's a compliment as residents happily spend their golden years socializing together here among the downsizers from the Midtown area. My number one pick, 10 and 20 Avoca. It offers an award-winning design with modernist horizontal lines created by the continuous balconies encircling the building. These balconies are as large as terraces. There's also an outdoor pool, lots of social activities. A notable perk is direct mail is delivered to your suite via a mail slot in the front door. However, the kitchens are on the smaller side and the co-op is the most expensive among the five reviewed since the demand is so strong. The location is really convenient. It steps away from the farm boy, Loblaws, medical and dental clinics at the heart of Young and St. Clair. Each of these five buildings, while lacking ensuite laundry and central AC, offer the potential for ductless installation. Additionally, they don't allow for renting. Notably, these five co-ops boast remarkably low turnover rates, indicating many satisfied residents that choose to remain. They truly represent Toronto's urban treasures. Curious about co-op living? Stay tuned for my upcoming video where I dive into the advantages and challenges of residing in a Toronto co-op.